Y este, y el signo de interrogación. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, qué chido. <laughs> It's good. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. Very good. Very good. How was your weekend? So, so. So, so. Why? <laughs> More and less. Um, Because it's raining. It's still, today, very hot. Very hard. Hot. Hot. Oh. día muy caliente. Hot. Ah, okay. Hot. Yes. Hot. Sí. Very hot. hot. Yes, today it was hot. Ah, what's hot? Today is good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Me dicen y que están preocupados que el ejercicio 1.10 no les sale. Pero chicos, no hemos llegado ahí. Tranquilos. <laughs> Y no se vale. <risa> 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 que, que ayudar al prójimo. <risa> <risa> ahora, <risa> ahora llegamos. Ahora llegaremos. <risa> ok. Pero ya sabe que le toca. <risa> relax, relax. <risa> Take it easy, take it easy. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Ok, a ver, mientras se van añadiendo los demás. Vamos a ver el ejercicio. <risa> no, comencemos calentando. Let's warm up with this tongue twister. One, one. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, one won one race. Two, two won one, two. Okay, very good. One more time. One, one, one was, was a race horse. Two, 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 two was two, one, was two. One, two. One, 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 one race. One race. Two, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two. One, one, two. Hey, hey, very good. Okay, now repeat after me. One one was one, a race one horse. Was a race one one was a race was a race horse. Two two was one two. Two two, two was one two. One two. One two. One, one 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 race. One one one, one race. race. Two two one one two. Two, two, one, 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 two. Okay, one more time. One, one was a race horse. One, one, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. Two, two, two was one, two. One, two. one, 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 one race. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Two, two, one, one, two. One, two. Okay, very good. A ver, ahora completo. Listen and repeat. Okay, wait. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. 
Are you? One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Applause yeah. to Fabiola. Okay, Fabiola, pass the ball. Eh, yo. Era yo, Yesenia. <laughs> oh, ¿quién era? Yesenia. Ah, Fabiola se me encendió aquí. Ah, no. Estaba haciendo ruido, muy a Fabiola. ¿Vale? Sí. Ok, Yesenia, pass the ball. Uh, vemos. Tati, Arevalo. Welcome, Tati. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Ok. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Yeah, very good. Applause to Tati. <laughs> Excellent. Ok, pasa por okay. ti. Um, quiero ver el que me parezca aquí el siguiente. Vladimir Quillén dice. Vladimir. Ok, hey, good evening. Good evening. Ok. Good evening. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Yes, very good. Aplausos to Vladimir. Next, Vladimir. Uh, Esther. Esther. Sí. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, one, one was a race. Two, two, one was two. Excellent. Very good. Applause to Esther. Yes. Now, next. Oh. Este. No sé quién más está. Este... Ah, está Verónica, está Janet, Roberto. Janet. Ok, Janet. Janet. Sí. Janet. Ok. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Ok, very good. Applause to Janet. <laughs> Okay, Janet, possible. My friends, Veronica. Veronica. Okay. okay. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Excellent. Very good. Applause to Veronica. Thank you. <laughs> okay. No, le aplaudieron a ver. Ah, aplaudanme, aplaudanme. Está bien. Okay, oh, yeah. okay, okay, Roberto Boquín. Okay, Roberto. Okay. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, okay, how many are we now? Okay, let's get started tonight with our class because we have a lot to do tonight. Okay, let me go here, share the screen. Okay, great. And then let's go to the to the class. We have a video tonight. Well, this conversation we saw the conversation last class. But maybe we we need to refresh your mind for a moment. 
Okay, you remember we studied this conversation last class, yes? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. And has this, okay. So tonight we are going to study questions in simple present, okay? Questions in simple present. Ahí por eso se estaban dando duro con la lección, porque no hemos llegado aquí. Pero hoy lo vamos a ver. So, pay attention to the video, please. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. Okay. Okay. So, listen to the video. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Mm -hmm. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject get up is the verb. 
and let's just analyze one more example what time does he have lunch what time is the wh word does is the auxiliary he is the subject have is the verb lunch is the complement now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can focus on making questions and answers form questions about the routine of your family friends and co-workers after you complete this task share it in our discussion forums okay so uh, these are questions in simple present so if you remember from the video we have two kinds of questions right uh, these are just no questions and information questions or WH word questions. For just no questions, okay. The this is the oh, the structure for just no questions okay these are just no questions the structure for just no questions is this right first the auxiliary verb do or does second the subject third the verb in the basic form and finally any complement all right let's practice this let me activate your microphones okay you can activate your microphones we are going to practice the questions repeat after me please do you get up early you get up early? No, I get up late. I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Oh, no. It's lunch, lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Yes, they drive to work every day. Okay, any question with yes, no questions? No questions. No. Okay. Uh, remember that, for example, we can respond with short answers also. For example, do you get up early? It's okay if you say, uh, no, I. Don't. Ah, no. Punto. That's okay. Now, no. if you want to give more explanation, you want to explain more, you say, I get up late. No, Ahí es que han obviado esto en el ejemplo porque se puede hacer. Okay, usted puede decir, no, I get up late. O, no, I don't. I get up late. O, simplemente, no, I don't. Ok. En el otro caso, por ejemplo, does he have lunch at noon? Muy bien, puede decir, no, he doesn't. 
ia. Ok, eso es lo que se conoce como short answers. Ok. Bien. Then we have the information questions. Let's take a look to information questions. Ok. This part. In information questions, this is the structure. Okay. Number one, the WH word. What time, when, where, who, what, different word, question words. Number two, the auxiliary. Do or does. Number three, the subject. Number four, the, ver the verb in the basic form. Okay, verbo sin conjugar. And finally, the complement. Okay, this is the structure for WH questions or information questions. Okay. Let's practice the questions. Turn on your microphone, please. And repeat after me. Yes. What time do you get up? What time did you get up? Do you get up? Get up. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? What time does he, does he, he have lunch? lunch? At 1 o'clock. At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? When do they drive to work? Every day. Every day. Every day. Any question with the information questions? No question, teacher. No question. No. Okay, very good. Teacher. Hola. Teacher, le tengo una pregunta. Diga. O sea, eh, o sea que el do y el dos es igual que, que el go y el dos. Que vamos a ocupar el, el do con el I, you, we, they y el dos con el he, she, it. Exacto. Nada. O Exacto. sea que, o sea que la, la pregunta eh, puede, siempre tiene que ser con como pregunta, como question. O el do y el does. O sea, siempre va a ser pregunta, siempre. Uh, el do y el does, recuérdense, lo usamos como un auxiliar. También para las negative sentences. ¿No? Para las oraciones negativas. Lo usamos en negative sentences. A ver, por aquí está. Y en questions. So, es un verbo auxiliar. Aunque también es un verbo que significa hacer. Pero en este caso no. No significa hacer. So, solo es un auxiliar para formar. Negative sentences. And questions. Acuérdense, esto lo vimos. Cuando vimos las negative sentences. Vean, aquí se, se usa el do o el das. ¿Ves? Sí. sí. Para formar negativas. Y también, ahora estamos viendo que también se usa for questions. ¿Sí? Para formar sí. preguntas. ¿Ves? Lo mismo, do, con, cuando usamos I, you, we, they, 
Vamos a usar do. Cuando usamos he, she, it, usamos das. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos ahí? Ok. I have, I have an exercise for you here. Ok. Uh, this is for yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. You have to put the questions in the correct order. Recuerden la estructura que aprendimos. Ok. Primero. Vean el ejemplo. Vamos a usar do or does. Second. Subject. Third. Verb. Verb. Okay, and finally. The complement. Complement. Okay. Esta es la estructura. Entonces. Tenemos esta. Are you have brother job does? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? A ver, ¿quién se anima y me la dice? Vamos a bajar esto un poquito para que se vea. Yes, have. Does. 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 Have. 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 Okay, and the compliment? Running a job. A job. A job. Man? That's your brother. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's your brother. Das. Aquí está, a ver. Das. Your brother have... Uh, job. Casi no se ve. Does your brother have a job? Ok. Does your brother have a job? Muy bien. Esto ya lo tienen en WhatsApp, así es que les voy a dar cinco minutos trabajando en grupos para resolver esto. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, let me go to... There are 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups. Entren a las sesiones y... Resuelve el ejercicio.
to shop in there. What Where do, do you like? like? Do you like go? Where do you like to a shopping? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where do See, you like, like a shopping? Where do you like go to shopping? Or porque ya hay un tú también. Tú. Go to shopping. Where do you like? Where do you like? Where do you like? Where do you like? Ah, pero go. Es like ir. Go. Like uh -huh. go. Where, where, where do you do like, you like go, go? To shopping. To shopping. Ajá. Ajá, sí, quizás. Aquí el verbo es to go. To go. De hecho, sí, el verbo, toda la acción es to go shopping. Ajá, to go shopping. Sería, sería, where do you like to, to go, go shopping? Ya. Yeah. Bueno, de, de hecho, el verbo es like. Ajá, like. Bien, right. por eso está bien colocado. Where, mm -hmm. where do, do you, like? you like, el complemento, to go shopping. To go shopping. Ah, ok. Exacto. To go shopping. Ok, ahí estamos. Veamos la cuatro, entonces. La cuatro sería... Okay. Do you, vea. Do you? See you later. Do you? Thank you. Uh, does your English English teacher does class? classes? Does classes? Uh -huh. Does classes? No, tres sería do you have, verdad? Pero ver, do, do you no. have acabado? No, no, how? No, no, no. Tiene un how. how. How, how, how many? How, how many? How many brother? No, how many do you do you have sisters and brothers? How do you many or how do you many? No, no. 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 How many? How many? How many? How many? This is the question word. W how word. many? How many? Do friends? you have brothers and sisters? No. How many? How many? Déjame ver, déjame ver. How many? Ah, yeah. How many? The question do you word have? is no. The question word is how many brothers and sisters? How many brothers? Que todo eso uh, es lo que le están preguntando. Many... How many brothers and sisters? Entonces, todo eso es la question word en este caso. Do you have? Do you have? Do you do? Yes. Do you... Okay. Okay. See you later. See you later. See you later. Sí. Entonces quedaría, see you many. How many? How many brothers and sisters? Brother and sister? You... Good morning. Uh -huh. What time yes. do you get up in the morning? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bueno, hoy sí la vamos a notar. <laughs> Finish. Okay, very good. Any question? Any help? No. No, teacher. Very good. No, okay, see you later. Okay. Hi, está? Hello. Hermando. <laughs> Lo invocamos. Lo estamos armando todavía. Ok. A moment. A little moment. ¿En cuál va? En la seis. Number six. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's your That's English Es dos. Das your wear. English no. class. No, alguien la dijo ya por ahí. Does your English teacher? Yes. Por ahí va. 
algo así. Does that your, your wear no. glasses your English teacher? No. Alguien más lo estaba diciendo ya correctamente. Es, does, <ríe> ya me trae. Does your English teacher wear glasses? Yes, that's okay. it. Does. Does the auxiliary. Your, your English teacher, the subject. Where is the verb? Glasses is the complement. O sea, your English teacher is a subject. Yes. Aunque sean varias palabras, yes. varias frases. Yes. Recuerden que lo, lo que tienen que preguntarse es de, de quién estamos hablando. Para oh, saber quién es el sujeto. sujeto que es el profesor. Your English teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. okay, see you later. Bye. See you, teacher. Bye. Okay, la siete. La siete. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, no, pero el verbo. How do cosa, you? How many do? Yo creo que casi no van. How many do you? No. How many, how many qué? ¿De qué? How many sisters? Teacher, ¿verdad que es? How many? How many? Oh, how do you, do you many? Pero es que yo siento que no. Según la regla tendría que ir el tú, pero no, no, no juega más. Primero, ¿qué es lo que va primero? The W. Ajá, W es la pregunta. How do you? La pregunta, la palabra de pregunta, que no siempre oh. es una sola palabra. Uh -huh. ¿Qué te están preguntando aquí? ¿Qué cuántos? ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos, uh -huh. ¿Cuántos sí, hermanos tienen? Varios tienes? hermanos. Uh -huh. ¿Solo hermanos? Muchos hermanos. Brothers y hermanas. Hermanos ah, y hermanas. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. how many <risa> brothers <risa> and sisters? Uh -huh. Esa es la pregunta. Esa es la question word. Pero, pero según la regla no tendría que ir el, el do aquí entonces. No, porque lo, lo, primer, lo primero es la, la question word. How many? Ajá, This is information. Este This es. is information how question. Many? Sí. How many brothers and sisters? El how many nunca sí, va ajá. solo. Ajá, ajá, ese, nunca es. dice solo how many es cuántos. Sí. ¿Cuántos? Es, ah, sí. O sea, eso nunca puede ir solo. ¿Cuántos qué? Yeah. How yeah. many brothers and sisters? Who oh, is a question word? ¿Qué sigue? Brothers and sisters do you have? Exactly. How many brothers and sisters do? Subject, verb. Okay? Do you have? Thank you. Um, How many brothers and sisters do you have? Okay. Okay, see you later. See you later. See you later. Vaya, ¿cuál sería el...? Que bien sabía que teníamos, pues necesitábamos ayuda. Sí, pero bien extraño, me sigue con... Siempre.
ಮತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ what about number 3 who can give me number 3 only one where, yes. like? where do you like to go shopping where do where do you like to go shopping do mm-hmm. Number four. What do you do you like? Do you watch? Do you watch? Do you watch the watch of the TV at the class? Class at the do do you watch? Do often watch? No. Watch. Do you watch? Do you watch? Do you watch TV? TV after class. You watch TV after class often? Okay. Aunque okay. este often <laughs> debe de ir aquí. ¿Por qué? Rápidamente le explico. Que luego lo veamos más en detalle en el futuro. Often es un, lo que se llama un adverbio. Y los adverbios siempre van antes de los verbos. Do you often watch TV after class? Yes. Sería lo correcto. Ok. Number five. What do you like to do on Saturday? Saturday. Yes. What do you like to do on Saturday? 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 Great. Next. Does your English teacher wear glasses? Does your English teacher wear glasses? Wear glasses. Okay. Does your English teacher wear glasses? Next. How many brothers and sisters? How many brothers and sisters? Brothers and sisters do you have? And sisters do you have? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Number eight. Do you know the next word to question? Next word to question. Do you know the answer to the next question? To the next question. Do you know the answer to the next question? Number nine. So in this. Where do we Where do we Where do penguins live? Where do penguins live? Where do? Remember, question four, do subject there. And finally, <laughs> what do you get up in the morning? Do you? Do you? What time? What time? Do you get up in the mornings? Mornings. mornings. Okay. What time do you get up in the morning? Listen. <laughs> 
Okay. Voy a mandar la uh, screenshot al WhatsApp para que lo tengan ahí. Sí, sí. With the answers, okay? Oh. Any question? Ay, está cargando en carga de WhatsApp. Bueno, después se los envío. Sí, está cargado. Okay, what time is it? Okay, the next activity is this exercise. Tienen unas preguntas para la lectura. Ya. Va por ahí. Y me dan una carga el WhatsApp. Y el famoso 1.10. Ya, pero ya, hoy con la clase, yo creo que ya lo deben de hacer bien. Ponerlo en orden. Ya. Ya deberían, de, ya van a poder hacerlo. And here you have the reading. And questions for the reading. Exercise. Um, I cannot see my clock. What time is it, guys? Uh, eight, eight, 50. Eight, 50. 50. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Veamos el reading. Veamos el. Veamos el reading, okay? Listen to these people talking about their activities. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning.
Okay, with this, you have to respond this exercise in the platform, okay? And um, you también he puesto ahí en, en WhatsApp more questions, okay? Trabajemos en esto. Let's work on this for a moment. Teo nada. Okay, according to the reading, who gets up at 6.30 a.m.? Joshua. No? Joshua. Yes, Joshua. Joshua. Hey. Yes. Yes. Okay. Joshua gets up at six thirty a.m. Good. Now, here I want you to write a question. I give you the answer. She studies in the evening from 8 p.m. to midnight. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Um, a ver, a ver. He studies. No, porque esa se, esa se responde sí o no. What, what time? Sería con what? What? What time to study? No, no, porque la respuesta es she. What time? Do, what, do, what time? Do, she study. Do you study? Bueno, podría ser, pero cuando cuando hablamos de she, ¿de quién estamos hablando? De ella. Does she study? Does she? ¿Quién es she? Ella. Ella. Brittany. Brittany o Maya. Brittany. Brittany. Okay, vamos a Brittany. Mm. What time does Brittany study? Okay, she studies in the evening from 8 p.m. to midnight. Good. Number three, what time does Maya go to bed? Five. Maya, good morning, bed at 5 a.m. Maya go or Maya goes? Maya goes. goes. Maya goes to bed. To bed. To bed. Uh, five. At five. Five. In the morning. Five a.m. Yeah. Okay. Y así continúan con el resto. Oh. So we are going to stop here tonight. With this, we finish. Uh, Section one. Okay. Okay. Complete the complete unit one, please. Complete section one in in the platform. And tomorrow we are going to start section two. Two. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, people. Have a good night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.